We'll guide you through how to transfer files from Mac to Windows. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. This is super useful to go and do, and it makes things so simple. I've got some files here I want to go and transfer. So first of all, go and open up a web browser. In this case, I'll use Chrome, but you could use Safari or whatever you want. Then what you want to do is come to Google, go to the top right and make sure you, you're signed into a Google account. If you don't already have one, create one. Then go and click on the apps button in the top right and you want to go and find the option for Drive. Google Drive is essentially a file sharing platform and a file cloud. So what we can do is go and click on it like so. Once you're here, go to the top left and click on new and click on new folder. And you can then just go and name this and create it. After you've clicked on create, it'll be made and you can go and open it up. Then you can go to the top left, click on new and click on file upload. Locate the files you want to upload. You can then go and select them and go and click on open like so. Now wait. After you finished, you then need to go onto your Windows computer. Here we are on my Windows computer. Now go and open up a web browser and come to Google. Make sure you're signed into the same Google account as you were on your Mac. Click on the apps button in the top right and we can go and click on drive. Then go over to the left and select my drive. We need to go and find the folder we made and we can double click on it. If you just want one file, right click on it and you can click on download. If it's all of them, click on the folder at the top and then click on download and wait. When it's finished downloading, open up your file explorer, click on downloads on the left and here it is. Click and hold and we can drag it onto our desktop. It's a zip file, so you can go and right click on it, click on extract all and extract it. Then you can come into the folder and here are the files. It's that simple. 